All right, folks, this video, we are going to install the Phantom Spirit 120. That is a dual tower, 120 millimeter, or dual 120 millimeter fans made by Thermalrite. You know, supposed to be good for Ryzen 7000 and LGA 1700 Intel. Um, so personal experience, used it with the i9-12900KS. Don't think it was an ideal CPU cooler for it, but... The i7 12700K KF is probably good enough. The i5 12600K, any of the locked CPUs would be good for. On the 13th gen side, any of the locked 13th gen would be good for. Um, maybe the i5 13600KF. Not going to cut it really for the i7 13700K or KF or the i9 13900K KF or KS. All right. So that said, um. Now, I should just use the other brackets. So, your base plate, folks, um, you need to move these into the inner position if they're not already there. And two things you can do. One, if you want to permanently mount this, you would remove the tape. I'm not going to. Uh, if you did that, you would then come in and pop that down there, right? Uh, then when we flip it over, it would... Hopefully stay in place. Now it may not do it if you just try and drop it. So uh, bringing it in from the side of the table with your finger on there is uh, usually one of the best ways to ensure that it stays on and then slide it. Um, in this case, I have a very small working uh, placemat, which isn't so great for that. But uh, all right, so we have that in place. Um, this model has these, uh, spacers and as far as I can tell, the side that has either graphite or rubber or whatever would be the side you want to touch your motherboard. So you will screw those in and hopefully not catch your finger on the motherboard and drag it around. That's one of the problems with Okay, as I say, it's one of the problems with it having so many things that your finger can get stuck on or hand. Um, so we're tightening this down. Now, we need to talk about orientation of the CPU cooler. This is offset, um, looking at it this way. This is the side you want up against the graphics card. This pushes this a little further away. From the graphics card so we were going to want it oriented like so all right and we want the cool air to come in from this side and exhaust out the other side so i'm going to put that down right there now um you saw how that was oriented that means these guys have to be on this side okay so we will we're going to switch over to a number one Phillips. The one I used in the last video was number two. So just get a couple threads on there. That'll make it easier to get this guy lined up if that one is not um, tightened down all the way. And that also assumes that, um, so you don't want to uh, cross thread these and I'll tighten that side down, which the way I did that would have taken a little chance of doing it. Um, now if we would have tightened the other side down, it might have been a problem, I had a problem getting the screw in. If you wear glasses, folks, for reading, um, this is one of those places where you definitely want to grab your glasses instead of seeing the world in a blur like yours truly is. All right, so, folks, we are almost halfway there, probably. Now we need some thermal paste. Um, this came with 
I have a bag here. We've got better stuff we could use. But you use the one that came with it, the TF7. And um, so I'm going to put a decent sized blob there and a smaller blob there. And so that should spread all the way across. Now, after we tighten this up, if you're not sure about how much thermal paste you put on, if you put enough on, you can do one of two things. One, you can run the computer, see if it gets too hot, then come back, take the CPU cooler off, you know, look at it. Oh, there's not enough paste. Put more on there, make it good. Or you could tighten it down, take it off, and just see if it's completely spread. Um, if it doesn't overheat, like some people, you know, probably see in the comments, then you're good to go. All right, so we just put that, lined up the uh, the nut, the threaded post with a nut. I think we could call that a nut, the screw. Now we're just trying to line these up. Um, I'm gonna switch so this guy, this camera can see the other one. So I'm just putting a couple threads on both sides and you really should move this by the CPU cooler like I just did. Move it by the motherboard. The truth is folks, I don't care about this motherboard or the CPU in it. But um, you guys probably do care. Now why do I say that one? Um, I have so many CPUs and this one doesn't really make any videos except for this kind of stuff, right? So we probably won't even test this out. But that said, this video is all about installation for LGA 1151 and 1200 for the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit 120. All right. So there's a couple ways we could do this. Next step, we need a Y cable. This looks like a knock to a Y cable. Um, dang. Where's the Y cable that came in the box, folks? Ay, ay, ay. So I don't see it anywhere on the table. That's not good. Oh, duh. Never mind. Here are two fans, and you guys won't already have your Y cables attached. Let me take those off. Um, you could connect both of the CPUs, CPU fans to the Y cable. There we go. Right now, um, I'm going to do this a little different than I normally do. We're going to go ahead and attach the Y cable now. So four pins of this go into the four pins on the one that says CPU fan. It can go in only one way and voila. Now, um, this is how you want your brackets to look on these things. All right, so how did I get there? This is the intake side. The other side is the exhaust side, okay? Um, the bracket, let's make sure I can get this in both camera views. Bracket goes in like that and like that, all right? So, um, I want my intake side pointing away from the I.O. shield. And so it's going to look like this, all right? Now, folks, this, ran this, fan this cooler is big. Um, you may need to come in and do your RAM first, right? So... This is uh, slotted for your RAM. And so we want to just go ahead and, and put our RAM in now. Um, if we had a second stick, we'd put that in. Double click, boom, that's good. Now, folks, I can put my, my fan in. All right. So I'm going to come in. Try and capture this cable on the clip. 
and I'm going to come in like so, and not like that. Let's try that again. And I'm going to come in like so, and boom. Um, pull this, clip it in there. Now we only have one left to do. And on the middle one, I suggest you put your clips on beforehand. So these fans have to be oriented in the same direction, all right? So when I put this in, like so, let's just make sure both cameras can see that. Doesn't look like both can. So I'm dropping this in, like so, and boom, all right? And then attaching this guy here done all right and that's uh, how you would do the installation for lga 1151 or 1200 very similar to the 1700 that i did thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe thank you